I'm here with Pam Orr with the Meridian Fire Department who is going to talk to us about how to properly install a car seat. So why is it so important to properly install a car seat? So car seats, um, we see them all the time here at Meridian Fire and unfortunately we see a lot of them um, that are installed incorrectly. If parents are not using the manufacturer's instructions for their vehicle and for their car seats, there are a lot of things that can go wrong. So can you give us a demonstration of how to properly install a car seat? I'd love to. Okay. So what is the first step? So um, I'm going to install an infant car seat for you today. And the infant car seat comes with a base. And so the base needs to be installed. And you want to make sure that the base is installed level. I'm going to install this base with a, car, with a seat belt. And we're just going to hook this in um, this way. Number one thing that most um, parents do incorrectly with installing a base is that they do not engage their locking system if their vehicle has one. So we want to engage that locking system of their seat belt. You hear it clicking in. And then from there, I'm going to ensure that it's level and I'm going to push down where the baby's bum will go and just pull that really, really, really tight. The key to this is, is that you want one, um, you want less than one inch of movement at this belt path. So less than one inch of movement. From there, we're going to install the seat. The seat just clicks directly in. And so we just come in here with the seat. It's going to click just like this. You're going to hear it click in. It is installed correctly at that point. At this point, I think it's important that we know how to install and put the baby in because the baby is also um, very, very critical. If you get the seat in tight and you get the baby in tight, then what you end up with is that should you get into a collision, g-forces are not going to affect the baby okay so the key to remember with installing the baby is that you want to ensure that the straps in the reverse position are either at or just below the shoulders next thing is is that you have a chest clip and you have the buckles that go in and this and then once you have that in that chest clip goes armpit level right about armpit level not too not too high up not too low but you want that bony surface and then you do a pinch test so there's two tests that we do an inch test no more than an inch on the seat and a pinch test you cannot actually hold the strap here i can hold the strap so i'm going to tighten this strap on the on this one it's from the reverse side then i'm going to tighten i'm going to come back in again just basically rolling off my fingers baby is nice and tight. And so seat is tight in the car, baby is tight in the seat, baby's ready to go. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Christina Bautista, Idaho News 6.